opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. f3 supports the e4 pawn, and prepares to develop the dark squared bishop to e3 and the queen to d2, a common attacking setup versus fianchetto systems. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. b3 supports the d4 pawn, white is preparing qd2 and possibly castling queenside. a6 controls the b5 square, black may proceed with nc6 slash rb8 slash b5 in the future. This activates a knight by developing it off of its starting square. Master Games It is the last book move. Right on target. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is a mistake. This develops a knight off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is excellent. This overlooks a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is a mistake. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. It is best. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to take an outpost with a knight. It is an inaccuracy. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is good. This kicks an opposing knight. It is best. This moves the knight to safety. It is best. This is a fair move. It is good. Very precise. It is best. This strikes at the center, countering the opponent's ability to grab space. This threatens to attack a trapped bishop. It is excellent. This allows the opponent to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This kicks an opposing bishop. It is best. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. That was a truly amazing move. It is brilliant. This moves the rook to safety. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is a mistake. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This is an equal trade. It is best. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. Recaptures. It is best. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. It is best. This misses an opportunity to capture a free pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. That was a free pawn. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is best. This threatens to take an open file with a rook. It is best. This threatens to win a queen. It is a mistake. This takes an open file, a common method for activating a rook. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This ignores an opportunity to move a bishop to safety. It is a mistake. This misses a great but hard to find move. 
This permits the opponent to kick a queen. It is a miss. This ignores an opportunity to add a defender to a vulnerable bishop. This permits the opponent to capture the checking queen. It is a mistake. Takes back. It is best. This ignores an opportunity to kick a rook. It is a mistake. This move puts the rook on a safer square. It is best. This is not the best move, but an interesting alternative. It is good. This removes a bishop that put the king in check. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. It is best. This evades the check from the knight. It is excellent. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. This defends a pawn that was under attack and had no defenders. It is best. This threatens to capture a trapped knight. It is excellent. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is excellent. That was a free knight. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. Takes back. It is excellent. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is excellent. A very strong play. It is excellent. The rook is now on an open file, which helps control squares across the board. It is excellent. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. A solid choice. It is excellent. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. One of the best moves. It is excellent. This exposes an attack, threatening a rook. It is excellent. That pawn was free for the taking. It is excellent. This takes an outpost, an active square where the bishop cannot be kicked out by a pawn. It is best. Intense that was a serious game. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 